Hey everybody, I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to use breakouts in Teams. Breakouts, uh, Teams wasn't really designed to do breakouts, but there is a way to kind of simulate a couple breakout meetings, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So, as you can see behind me, I'm in Teams, and I clicked over here on the left, I clicked on my Teams icon, and these are all the uh, team teams that I'm a member of. I'm going to go down here and create a new one. And so this is what you would do if you wanted to do something like this. I'm going to go private, by the way. Sorry, I skipped ahead. I'm going to go private, so I get to choose who, who's inside here. And I'm going to call it uh, Breakout. Breakouts. Uh, you'll name it whatever you want, uh, wh whatever makes sense for your, for your team name. And then that's creating. And now I'll be able to invite people. Um, I'm not going to. I don't have anyone to invite. I don't have any friends. So I'm going to skip this. But you would invite the people that needed to be involved in your breakout meetings. So now you can see I have this team, and I already have a general channel. So underneath the team are channels. If I click on these three little um, Epsom salt dots, I think they're called, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to, I'm sorry, Epsom salt. I don't, I don't know where that came from. Um, I don't know what they're called. I'm going to add a channel. Man, that just destroyed me. I can't even think now. Um, I'm going to call this one. So I'm going to create a channel for each breakout. So I'm going to call this breakout one to be creative and maybe give it some context. Maybe this is pillar one. Uh, and I want to make sure I check mark this automatically show this channel in everyone's list so that they see it. Okay, so that one's done. Let's go ahead and create a new one. And as you can see, there's a pattern to this. I can um, create as many, oh my gosh, I am, I am not, I, I can't think. Uh, pillar two. So, oops, check mark that, it's important. So I've created a couple, uh, you can create as many as you need um, you can even rename it if you're an idiot like me. Uh, how do I do that? Um, edit this channel. Pillar, pillar two. Okay. This will come. This will be important what you name it because, as I'm, I'll show you right now, this is where I will go. I'll click on this channel and I'll hit meet. Notice it. It it takes on the name of the of the channel. I'm going to turn all my audio and video off because I'm doing the recording right now and it would kind of mess things up. So as I start this meeting, everybody in that team, as you're familiar with Teams, will see this and be able to join. If I jump into here and do the same thing, pillar two, turn my audio off, join. You can again uh, have a bunch of these running as little breakout rooms and then people that need to can jump into whichever pillar meeting that they need to. Now you, yes, you as the moderator can have all of these open at once and you can jump in and out of them. You don't need to invite people because they'll already see this in teams and they can join whichever pillar they need. And then the, the, the cool thing is we can, we can go into this general channel and uh, we could even create a meeting here. And maybe this is the, this is the, the big meeting, um, the huddle meeting report out. We'll call it report out. And again, everyone can jump in this whenever they need to, or whenever you want them to, you can, you can, uh, <laughs> I almost said you can slack them. Idiot. You can go into pillar one and just say, uh, you know, five minutes left before report out, right? So you can do that. Or you could just go into pillar one, go into pillar one, hit resume. That means, because you were on hold, not them, but you were, and say, hey guys, you guys got five minutes left. You just jump over here to pillar two, hit resume. Hey guys, you got five minutes left. And you can do that for all the, all the different meetings that you've got going on. And then as soon as you jump back into the report out, uh, you can wait for everyone to show up for the report out. I check this, I double check this, 
I tested this. Even though you're on hold on these other meetings, the other participants inside that meeting are still, they're still fine. They're communicating, they're talking, sharing screens, they're doing whatever they need to do. So they, they, uh, it's only you that's on hold if that worries you. Uh, that worried me the first time I did it. But I tested it and you should be good to go. So this is a really cool way to use breakouts in Teams without um, too much hassle. So I hope this has been informative and I'd like to thank you for viewing.